Very excited. Got rid of all the panelists except uh, one man. Hello. One man. Hello. In the middle of Ramzan, he's supposed to be fasting. I won't get into that. But it's also his birthday today. Yes. Uh, today. Well, let's I pretend it's today. Thirty-six. And no, I. There are no thirty-six <laughs> days in a month. <laughs> no, no. I turn thirty-six. Ah, he turns thirty-six. And I woke up today morning telling you that I have a pain in my back and yeah, I can't yeah, make it. Yeah. So what? Well, you wanted way? to say pain in your ass, but I understand <laughs> that we're not that close. Actually, yes. Yeah, and, Quite literally. And plus, your boyfriend was still there, so yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you had yeah. to wait for the pain to go. Uh, uh, but birthday, thirty-six. Yes, thirty-six. Yeah, it's amazing because I'm so much older than you. I, I can't. I have no empathy. You know, because you'll be like, oh, I'm thirty-six. My life chala gaya. Can I just address? This is so awkward because it's a cock and bull, but it's still one on. One and usually for a cock and bull, it's a group of people, so it's just weird. Usually means sure. it's not like this was you know planned by the British <laughs> before forty seven. I know, but I get what you're saying. But I think it's fine. You know, I you're, don't mind the fact that we're only one on one, kind of okay, sexual. But I'm more worried about the fact that we're not live. I feel sad about that. Mm. I love that feeling. Mm. There's a little bit of adrenaline that happens when you're live and you guys coming late and us having to stop or start. You know all that. So so that that I feel the nostalgia of that mm. is upsetting me a little bit. Mm. However. Uh, not having the panelists, I don't know. If that's you know. I mean, firstly, we don't have a big enough camera that's to fit true. in more than one person. Yeah. And, and for you, size matters yeah. a lot. Not yeah. just it's uh, more <laughs> metaphorical because we are so many people in one. Yeah. Right? Mm. You know, I'm a I'm a driver. Have you seen Raku Kazam? What is that? So he's this Bengali singer or Assamese. I'm not sure. He's he's about eighty years old, but mm. he has black hair mm. and he dances very slowly and he sings songs like, "I am your driver, you are my teacher." Check out Raku Kazam. So he's become Raku my Raku Kazam. R A K U C A S M. So okay, Raku Kazam. I I just I spend the whole day finding out little bits about him and all. Acha. And he's just. I thought it's Raku Kazam like an orgasm. It it is. I suppose it's coming from that it's word. It's more sarcasm, no? Raku Kazam. It's between those two, but either way, it doesn't matter because you're in, you're mesmerized by him. Okay. And at the end of the day, you've never this kind of art form. I mean, it's just privilege hmm. to be part of a generation that got to see Raku Kazam right. perform. Hmm. And it's just the songs are always about him being a poor guy and the, uh, a woman who's forty years younger than him is his lover, oh. who's a rich woman. But they both look like they've never ever had more than six hundred rupees <laughs> per month as a salary. Uh, not that we should judge people. So he's a player essentially. If he's having girlfriends who are forty well, years old. Well, he's a girl. player in fiction because uh-huh. you know in reality mm. this play would last about four seconds. <laughs> but I just is for me. I've passed it on to all my friends, and he's just become such a super hit. You Did have to check out Raku Kazam. Al Pacino like have a kid at seventy four or something. Yeah, something but there's like medical that. health that can make you ah, do all that. You know, and, and if you're earning less than six hundred, it's difficult. to come by. Oh yes, yeah. uh, but by the way he has full hair. Now if it's a wig or not I don't know because okay. I don't have a very good close of him. Huh. But his, and his singing it's a very slow monotonous funny sort of way of singing like I am your driver you are my teacher. It's almost going towards light porn but it doesn't go there. As about it to say. It stops there. Yeah. Mm. Then he, he there shots of him exiting a rickshaw, oh. entering a rickshaw. Mm. You know I mean that's the show. Okay. You know, basically. <laughs> Yeah, I'm a I'm a huge fan. So I guys, check out Raku Kazam. Mm. Yeah, even you on your. I will. Birthday, I will. Give yes. Me this gift. <laughs> yes. Of so course. let's let's let Abbas talk about Abbas. No, we have other topics to no, talk no, 36 about. No, thirty six is spend five minutes on your birthday. What to say? I mean, yeah, I'm around, sticking But around. Every year, do you feel pressure? That this year is the year I really make it and all that. Thirty seven, thirty eight. A little bit, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. as you get older, that pressure becomes. But more. then, what is making it? When did you feel you've made it? Well, making one is that financially. Well, financial is one. One I of think them. That's yeah. the key. That, it's, but I think you'll never be enough, no. Being celebrated, yeah, true. But yeah. being celebrated in your lifetime is meaningless. You you can get it organized. Okay. You can just get eight people to clap when you enter the building. <laughs> you know? Normally, for me, they clap because I'm in the way. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but. But, you know, I, I was. I'm trying to think back to when I was in my 30s, which yeah. many years ago. Were you already successful? No, not successful. Hmm. It's a. Uh, there's a. Okay, maybe I can't remember the exact age. There's. You start feeling worried that am I? Will I be able to look after my parents? Will I be? This, this you age. already had kids by 36. It's <laughs> <laughs> interrogation, okay? No, I'm answer. asking. <laughs> yeah, I had kids by 36. Yeah. I think I got married at the age of 29. Right, there you go. Uh, because my wife threatened to go back to America, uh-huh. and I didn't hear properly. <laughs> I I thought she said that I will go back to America mm. if you marry me. Yeah. <laughs> so I did and she stayed. America's uh, far away. Right. Yeah, next thing you know we had kids. But I'm saying there's an age uh-huh. when when I was single, so maybe it's a little early. But see I I got a little lucky that I got this MTV job. The salary mm. was decent for my mm. age at that point. Mm. Suddenly I had no money. Mm. Uh, from no money I was earning, earning the Kunya's advertising was paying 1800 nice. rupees a month. Yeah. They still pay that by the way. <laughs> uh, that's why Kunal also left. <laughs> And I was getting radio stars paying me about four or five grand a month, which is decent. Yeah, that, that time, yeah. yeah. That time, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 
uh, and then I got a jump with mm. MTV, mm. lot more money. Mm. I think 15 grand an episode was the first payment. Wow! Paper. So some months I would do eight episodes yeah. and all that. So I made more money than my poor father, yeah. who was working all his life as a lawyer, educated man. Right. So that all threw you a little bit. But I'm saying there's a point where you uh, where you're wondering whether you're able to look after the people around you mm. uh, if you are in a position to be the main guy. Mm. So I'm asking you if you feel that pressure at some point. So luckily, I don't. Or luckily or unluckily, I don't. Your dad's have the a successful pre- dentist, so all good. Uh, yeah, so I don't have the pressure of a wife and kids at the time of the record. Okay, so <laughs> six days later on his birthday he could be married twice yeah, yeah some woman might show up and like remember yeah. but um yeah but but looking after parents and of the, the if you're not married then the pressure to the get the married the pressure is the peer pressure na as you get older yeah, say that, rohit is earning x so that's the wonderful and thing is earning y. The, what, the wonderful thing about being in podcasting is that everybody is yeah. broken and yeah. poor yeah. So there's no happy <laughs> story in podcast yeah. as you know from the state of our podcast at the moment yeah, yeah. but we are like a, we are like a third world country podcast mm. no but when you see your your uh, schoolmates posting pictures from vacationing in italy the and ones so who have on. gone the very conventional yeah, route yeah, you know, yeah. business so family doctor uh, family lawyer uh, family So then you're like, oh you man, feel like a loser. yeah. I check my bank balance and it's four yeah. figures, and I'm like, I can't afford. Bank balance, your holiday is what? You went to Himachal to perform, but they didn't give you a hotel room. <laughs> Himachal so me, like yeah. Khandala Lonavala is the best. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, that of course is there. Then you close Instagram. But who asked you not to become a dentist? You, my conscience. You know, why? <laughs> Everything was said. This is India. If you are a dentist, son, be a dentist. If politician, son, be a politician. I know, man. Yeah. Gangster, son, be a gangster. Yeah. A film star, son, uh, become a woman. You know. <laughs> I mean, because they're more liberal. You can have that option. Don't, Abhi sir. Don't, don't do that because that's a mean laugh, and I don't want to be part of that. Yeah. But all of us were given that uh, jolt of reality in Jamnagar, right? When we thought everybody, all of us you were. You won't let that go, no. You won't no, let that go because I feel your, like your wife to be would be like, you know, in Jamnagar, <laughs> they had Rihanna. <laughs> when, uh, jab, like, when people like us do throw marriage functions, when the barat goes on the road, you'll always see people on the sides looking, right? The Jam, we were the onlookers for. Yeah, the Jamnagar yeah, function. Yeah. I think the horses in their barat have more money than us. <laughs> I mean, we just have to accept that this is the truth. Yeah, yeah there was a robbery though. In, in Jamnagar, there was one guy who because they got a lot of labor from elsewhere, they right. needed more labor than guests. There is no yeah. way to talk about the film industry who went true, to Jamnagar. True, true, true. But they were captains <laughs> of the of the of the job. Right. But there was apparently there was one guy who who was caught stealing things and all that. Oh damn! I was so happy that there was one guy <laughs> who looked at it as an opportunity. He says, "Ha ha! Chand ka hai banjot? Yeah. <clears throat> so, uh, so peer I, pressure uh, check. What else? Wow. No, I don't put you in a bad mood. I'm just trying no, to no, think. But I can't remember 36. Mm. Uh, unless you're a you're bra. 54 now, right? You go ahead. <laughs> so 18 years ago, that's uh, 2006. Is what? Uh, what? When you turned 36? No. It was my I math was born bad. In 71 Bangladesh war. I let you take. Ah, so there. correct. No, 2006. It's seven. not correct. Thank God you're not a dentist. <laughs> you take the wrong tooth out. Yeah, really. But yeah. yeah. 52. That's 52. Power. 52. Okay, yeah, yeah. so 99, 2000. At my age, every no, month, every, every month counts. <laughs> Don't take an extra month. If you want Vijay Kunalkar, the uh-huh. esteemed uh, leader mm. of the film industry, mm. turn 60 in me. Oh, that's he's a big moment. Elder to you? By by eight years. Really? Yeah. Wow, he wow. looks way more like happier in life. <laughs> But wow. then he does also like he travels and he uh, explores. He enjoys food. traveling. I hate traveling. Yeah. Two different mindsets. That's true. Yeah. I'm a cave animal. I like to stay home. Are either of you, you or Kunal, big on like throwing birthday bashes? We were. Uh. When I was young and drinking, I loved parties. Right. I mean, you used to have great parties. By thirty six, had you quit? No, I kick, uh, quit in two thousand and fifteen. December twenty fourth. Ah, so in your forty. What a sh- <laughs> podcast! This is so personal. So that's how many years? Nine years have passed. Ah. Huh. So fifty two uh, minus nine. In your forties, yeah. Now fifty two minus nine, forty three. That. Yeah. That's the age I quit. <laughs> okay. He quit only three, four years. Although he never drank, drank uh-huh. hard drinking uh-huh. without me. Uh-huh. Then he goes back to being a mild drinker. Right. But uh, par- pancreatitis. Pancreatitis. There's a tit in the word. <laughs> pancreatitis. Yeah. Pronounced tight, not mm. tit. Uh, if you don't know, that stopped him drinking. The doctor said he can never drink again. Okay. So I can drink again, but I don't want to. He can't drink again. Mm. So I may just drink just to spite him one day. Like, Hi Kunal, what's up? You, you Cheers. Took a little few shots when you were in Singapore for the for work. Mm, how do I answer this? You're not looking like a fraud. <laughs> it's on camera. It's on camera, <laughs> but uh, let's just say I found an in-between place. Ah, okay. In my body. Right. <laughs> 
Nice. Sure. Happy birthday, Abbas. Thank I should you wish so you much. 36 is a big deal. And you know, I'm mean, with a back injury. Will you be 37? <laughs> and, uh, I don't want to take any chances. I'm sure this one's an important milestone. Right, right, right. Cool. Let's go to the topics. Yeah. But uh, you want to just voice your concern about being only one panelist and all? You, this is a good point. No, there's no concern. It's okay. just weird. You miss the energy of the, the extra. The, the only time I think you've spoken one on one was when last time I quit and I was doing no, my. Every exit. time you ring the bell and I open the door, it's a one on one. When I say, who are you? you but that's you yelling at me for being late. <laughs> Now so we that. don't no longer yell, we're just sarcastic. Yeah, that's true. There's steps that happen, no? yeah. from yelling to sarcasm to cynicism hmm. to giving up. Hmm. So also, I realize cock and bull, we do topical to, uh, topical subjects. By a week from now, this will all be outdated. Yeah, so, in, India, she, in India, you can't even mention politicians because they join different parties. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you'll be like, you know, this guy from the Shiv Sena. <laughs> but then they listen, Shiv Sena is very much BJP. It's like that. I was watching something, Shahzad Poonawala on, on the panel. Yeah, 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 Shahzad yeah. Poonawala of the Congress. I'm like, the Congress? Yeah, I checked it was six years ago. Yeah. <laughs> You mean guy. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, our first topic is uh, Zomato introduced and then vegetarian. took back the but vegetarian yeah, 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 fleet. No, 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 they're not taking it back. He said, I'll listen. No, he said, I'll, I'll listen to the feedback. Huh. He, he's, he's rolled it back. He said, I will roll it back. The roll it back, roll back has happened on the uh, f- the the delivery boys in green. Oh, the color delivery. has changed. Yeah. But, the, but it's still there. But, but it's still there. You the can veg. still opt for the can I, veg. Now, can I speak from the other side? Yes, please. Because you're only hearing about the veg guy saying that I don't want it, whatever. I am horrified by veg food touching my food. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm not against this because for years I'm always wondering, oh God, is veg? Like I was in Gujarat uh, and we were shooting for hmm. something hmm. Uh, in the bath and uh, the set was veg. Hmm. And they tell me only at lunch break. Oh, really? So we can't bring any non veg on the set also. We can't, we can't even order. Wow. Because the entire set is veg. That's uh, the rule. Uh, we have these things, they happen uh, from time to uh. time. And then they bring this package veg uh, from a hotel, uh, which is a very, it's not like, your, you know, no, no, puri bhaji and mm, damalu mm, and things I could eat. Mm, it's very, like, I fancy. don't even know what it is in small boxes and little <laughs> things, I don't even know what they are. So my good friend Kostov, I'm asking him for advice, but he's not that good either with this kind of food, but he eats it anyway. Right. It was, it was a terrible experience. Mm. I was very worried. Mm. I, I, the kind of backache you have now, I had sort of the same thing from head to toe. Uh, so the, the, the things you do for work, right? Yeah, Drinking so, when you're a teetotaler, no, eating no, so veg. I'm, so I'm just saying if they want to separate this veg, non-veg, that's fine. Mm. Because sometimes the veg you just breathes into the non-veg also. You're looking mm. at only the non-veg beating the veg. Mm. What about us? Mm. I don't want any veg. Mm. But I was thinking the two delivery apps, popular delivery apps, yeah. Swiggy and Zomato, one has a, a uniform that's orange, one has a uniform that's red. And so I'm what you're like, saying is one like, is a one political party <laughs> and one is a Marxist the, party the, from the, China. Yeah, the two uh, yeah. Uh, what are you, dominant ideologies yeah. of uh, right wing and left wing. Yeah, well, like extremes. Ideology may be there, but where is it? In, where is the communist in India? <laughs> that's true. Yeah. yeah, some of them are actually the ones yeah. delivering. I mean, sorry. they're definitely in the audience. Yeah, exactly. CPI yeah. was watching yeah. this. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry. They're but, remodeling themselves as delivery boys. But I was thinking, so do you think these uh, like something like this decision that we'll introduce a veg fleet? Shouldn't there be more people? people in their boardrooms pointing out the things that people pointed out that sir if you demarcate it like this one of the things was that in vegetarian uh, colonies uh, landlords give uh, uh, house to someone saying if you're vegetarian now if they see a red zomato delivery guy delivering food then you know oh, this person is ordering non-veg yeah. when it, so, so th- things like that there are, there are that's people, a very basic thing people right? who are sitting in a veg colony eating non-veg quietly yeah, yeah. now you're outing yeah. them in the a way kids and all that yeah. you're outing them it's, a, it's a going to be fantastic about time they're caught <laughs> this fraud has to stop I'm against it completely but I honestly when you go to eat with your best friends and they have yeah. these two different bowls in fancy restaurants mm-hmm. this bowl you know it just tells me how India is such a effed up country sometimes we just create uh, diversions or other differences we just it's just part of yeah. our DNA let's yeah. find another way to make us uh, polarize the people more okay forget Hindu Muslim forget caste we'll find other ways so we'll find veg non-veg we'll find short uh, tall left hand right hand a guy with one testicle a guy with three testicles we'll find everything and we'll just separate them and say mm. uh, you're not like like me mm. so I'm very happy with that uh, also it's about the branding of it as pure veg yeah. Yeah, like what is this pure veg anyway <laughs> Shuddha Shahakari what about our pure non-veg that's no, what when no? is that movement going to start <laughs> I see one matter one pig but a small a pig I will sue you and your pop's uncle's balls <laughs> That would be the attitude of some, yeah. not me, but some mm. people would talk like that. Pops, uncles, balls would also be qualified as so non-veg. Why are you even <laughs> looking at that? I mean, reverse pedophile Gary, is going on here behind our back. Yeah, but what's, uh, what's the but most... Can I, can I, sorry, can I yeah. quickly tell you that Kunal has converted after Vijay Kunal. The vegetarian? Well, he's eating more and more veg food because he knows this is the future. So to fit in and survive, he's started eating more and more. 
he would not he was more non veg than i was when we were young mm-hmm. he wouldn't eat tomato he wouldn't i i had this eat the little things added to the food mm-hmm. here in there mm-hmm. he wouldn't eat anything mm-hmm. and now he's uh, almost become a full ve- i think he's going into politics step by step he's moved in the right direction he's also started wearing more colorful clothes and all right i mean he still looks like a fruit yeah. but still you know now i'm again reminded of that what was that uh, that the dish chicken something uh, that you, he went with the date and there was only one of it no and chicken uh, are no, what are you saying mutton kid gosh kid gosh yes. mutton, mutton, mutton. tender mutton yeah <laughs> fara fara tender it's very good and yogurt gravy and the smell will come from the kitchen lovely lovely oh it's so tender but butter it's like makkhan in your mouth makkhan in your mouth makkhan in your mouth so uh, there's only one uh, kid gosh ah huh, what will you have <laughs> super Classic. Chibuli is not dead. Yeah, Chibuli exactly. Dead. Yeah. But what's the most exotic meat you've eaten? Eaten in your life? I don't know, but uh, the, in Kenya they were serving crocodile. No, I couldn't, mm. couldn't, I couldn't. Bro, I'm, I'm also pretty conservative. I'm an Indian, you know. You can't change the Indian. Indian right. is there. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just too much of a jump. Mm. You know, we were struggling with whatever we've got, and then suddenly crocodile. And I don't know what else was there. But there are people who try it. Vijay Kunalkar was trying everything. I couldn't. I just couldn't. Mm. The um, crocodile um, meat all exotic animals with uh-huh. i don't want to mention them because <laughs> i feel sick you know right? yeah. is it hypocritical i know but mm. it's but there are people who westerners indians who are just hey come on let's try you know yeah. it's just to do with the, the spirit mm. also how desperate you are for food i guess <laughs> plays a part yeah. want to move on to the next topic i don't want to i want to sit on your lap <laughs> and play with the cheeks what kind of question <laughs> so uh what, you, what we, are you doing for your birthday I haven't thought about it because we're recording this well in advance. Stop saying that. <laughs> I I still see I still see well, that girl yeah, yeah. whose name you'll never mention. Yeah, I am. Uh, uh, and what is her name? Huh? No, which I'll never mention. All right. So, uh Is that no, how you hurt your back? The Okay, <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's been a trooper. Come to the show because we couldn't find a guest. That's been our show for five years, and he's come despite. No, this is serious. They won't believe me. Uh-huh. You're in serious pain. You've got. Uh, sciatica sciatica hmm. or, but which is caused by slip disc slip disc hmm. if you look at him the disc slipped long ago <laughs> they just noticed it recently yeah yeah now i was shifting houses recently i think i i pulled something you, you moved the house yourself yes i did what's he saying yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and something where you shifted pulled. from where to where bandra that's why i was able to call you tell you i'm not but you were already in it. bandra no the person sh- who shall not be named was in bandra so whenever i would like uh, you were like, living in her house now uh, you got your own house yes So you got two girlfriends. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no wonder your back's giving way, you <laughs> fat bastard. <laughs> you can't handle so much. Uh, huh. No, I was saying uh, uh, this time the birthday has come in the month of Ramzan. So oh, right. uh, daytime, I don't think there can be much partying. Unless you guys are yeah. the day. I drag him out like a dead body for the show once a month. But so. yeah, evening we'll be going out for some dinner or something, mm-hmm. something like that. Yeah. Who? Just you and the girl. Who can't um, be named? No, there will be some other people also. Huh. Her friends and my friends. You'll have to pay for some of the panelists of ex panelists of Cock and Bull might Not also ex. be there. It's <laughs> a work in progress. We will fight for our panelists. <laughs> Did you see this French film? I don't know why I'm asking because yeah, of course yeah, you haven't. Yeah, yeah. Anatomy of a Fall, which was uh, not what which was nom- it's nom- like anatomy <laughs> of a few. <laughs> Great, which so was nominated for an Oscar, which uh-huh. is also a courtroom drama. Yeah, I saw it. I didn't know they wear red gowns. Is it about sorry the ships? Say no. No, it's not. <laughs> it's sort of it's about a season, yeah. it's a murder mystery. Okay, uh, it's yeah. not good. Though, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Unless murder of democracy is what you're talking about. But I don't uh, think they alone are to blame. Then <laughs> that's true. There are bigger players. Yeah, than yeah, that. yeah. yeah. Uh, by the way, did we ever discuss the electoral bonds thing on Cock and Bull? No, we've never discussed electoral. Bonds. You want to talk about it? Because they don't happen. <laughs> they don't happen. No one yeah. is involved. Definitely nobody is sponsored. Our show has been <laughs> on that list. I can tell you that. Imagine. Yeah. But Caventers, the milkshake company, is on the on the can list. Can I can I be devil's advocate? Yeah. What is wrong? What do you think I happens mean, in the West? In that's for like lawyers US? to answer. What is what wrong? What do you think happens in the United States of America? Or But it happens openly, like right? China. Uh, China, you're forced to lobbying. It's called lobbying, right? It's in called lobbying. West. Yeah. It's called lobbying. Yeah. So that's the capitalist way of life. You have more money, you you you'll get more uh, out of the country. But in, then there, like Ben and Jerry's, the ice cream company, yeah, yeah, yeah. is known to be very left liberal. Fair. So, but but then they are willing to be Don't to get openly into what they are. Mm. I'm saying the right. F who you're aligned to. Mm. I'm saying the right to put your money and support. 
but that's what the companies are willing to openly uh, yeah. tell their so what is wrong with it tell me because tomorrow in india if the other party comes into power the yeah. companies want to show favor to them also so you know so what then they, do? they can come Not back and be india, like hey, last time you, know you favored do? them no like uh-huh. most of them are actually giving money to both sides mm. they just tend to think the dog in this race which is mm. winning is clear mm. so you tend to pay more money for that mm. because it seems very clear but everybody right. the philosophy is to keep everybody happy because that's why gangsters are amateurs mm. and politicians are another <laughs> level you're right. playing hafta for life and you're playing reverse hafta also because mm. you want to keep everybody happy mm. but again i'm saying i don't understand the problem mm. this is a capitalist democracy so people pay and can get their work done but one of the accusations was also that the ed raids these companies and then they pay so it's essentially you're doing it to rafa dafa that you hey, don't do this again please here's your share but that's the sad part if if that is the system has caused them to do it because of this and coercion that's mm-hmm. really sad mm-hmm. they should happily call up and say today i will support all the parties in the race who have uh, some consequence not the independent mm-hmm. damn it the day won't come when the independent will run india mm-hmm. but we never know mm-hmm. although we were independent in india in 47 <laughs> to start with in the right. other way yeah. but i can't understand the big, if i was a super rich businessman what would i do if i was worth say 80000 crores mm-hmm. i would definitely think uh, i so i should give some to the running government the mm-hmm. sitting government and i should give a little bit to the opposition in case you know uh, pull a rabbit out of the hat rabbit you're not allowed to eat um and you shouldn't <laughs> and uh, i i think that just makes sense what would I, how do i safeguard myself because they change laws the you know uh, lobbies uh, overnight you can destroy an industry mm-hmm. you know with just a, one law change mm-hmm. or one uh, significant shift in uh, focus or in in some sort of you know chemicals in that industry for example yeah. instead of being banned boom you you screwed mm. so i'm saying you have to be very careful government is very important government and ec- politics and ec- economy run together john stuart mill read the books he was on the podcast when okay. he died 150 years ago <laughs> maybe 200 does it take away from the image of the whatever like uh, the sa- the sada sadharan politician like uh, what is this image i mean the, the, so the prime minister said hum to fakir aadmi hain you see rahul gandhi is walking on the street saying bharat jodo yatra and they try and portray this very down to earth they keep wearing image, white right? Uh, yeah. Physical purity. Yeah. Who, who are you kidding? Forget all this crap. I want something for a bank for my buck. Here's so, my buck. According to you, the politicians should should they dress. Human. They Let's dress stop. like Let's fashionable clothes. I think it should be more real. Mm. You know, let them come out in shorts and scratch their navels <laughs> and you know fart or whatever they do. <laughs> like you. Stop acting like gods. It's a waste of time. Mm. Really. Okay. Will they learn nothing from me, Abbas? I don't know. They should. Very disappointing. Yeah. But I'm all for the electoral bonds, and I think if you have money, please go ahead and support somebody. It's the right thing to do. This is your country, and you should try to own it. And the best way to own it is to finance someone. Start low, like with our podcast, and then slowly, slowly, slowly go to a political party, and then finally to the uh, sitting government. That's the way to go. Okay, let's take one topic before we go to the break. Okay. Uh, so, former Mumbai police officer Pradeep Sharma yeah, yeah, yeah. was uh, given court, uh, yeah. a life imprisonment yeah, high court. for a fake encounter high court. case. Huh. Understand the appellate system? Mm. Supreme Court still to go. Mm. Okay, you think and that Supreme Court reversed? had given him uh, had overturned his case earlier uh, as well. Mm-hmm. So as far as we know, Pradeep Sharma, at the moment, not looking good. Mm-hmm. I think mean, this uh, Revathi or whoever who was after him, mm-hmm. um, not looking good at all because I think that the that Netflix film, you remember that? Where, where he talks about the 113 he's killed and all that. So right. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. This prejudice goes in your head also. Yeah. Not taking his side. Yeah. I have no yeah. idea. Yeah. But the fact of the matter is that you kill 113. Mm-hmm. This is a case over one. killing mm. of one i think witness mm. if i remember correctly mm. which they're trying to put him peg him for mm. and for which they are the witnesses brother etc etc mm. have been fighting we don't understand that the subconscious has taken the 113 into our head mm. and you start thinking of him as a villain because in the old days again nothing is these are all alleged each uh, encounter specialist group would be with one gang right. either with deep faction or with yeah. what is your guy's name uh, chota rajan faction yeah, or yeah. the nayak faction there yeah, those three yeah, four underworld yeah. gangs of which mm. we are both applied but couldn't get into <laughs> <laughs> oh, comedy contract nahi hai usme all that no how much we tried sadly yes yeah so uh, two things one i think uh, just like in the case of mike tyson mm. when he finally gets put in mm. for that rape mm. uh, she was in the room at 4 in the morning seen entering happily in uh, uh, you know the lobby of the hotel etc mm. the, the footage was there so not that she can always say no mm. but the fact of the matter is she happily went to his room at 4 am mm. but he got a lot of this uh, the, the, i think the charges went against him mostly was because of his fighting right. his uh, aggression his ferocity his uh, statements which were not woke at all towards women and things like no, no but so in saying, this so, case he's the one who's been boasting about the he, x number of encounters right he has. so then subconscious well, i won't say he's boasting but he's not denying it and you made a film where he's almost like a narrator right. if if you've seen that uh, film or series whatever and i did see it 
Mm. Uh, he's not shying away from anything. Mm. So that goes in your head. Mm. And you're wondering, you know, 113, how many of them deserve yeah, to be killed? Yeah, yeah. If, if one can ever have this conversation, mm. I mean, you know, really. Mm. Uh, as bad as they are, do mm. they deserve to die? I mean, that's a huge thing to say, right? I mean, the many people watch the podcast and they have the same question. Which panelist deserves to die? And <laughs> it takes a little while to come to a conclusion. That, that would really make the viewership high yeah. if that was the criteria. If, if we shot the unfunniest off. person dies yeah. from the panel. Is uh, that why we stopped calling people? It's very people? relative. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, but it's very rare, right? A, a cop getting a life imprisonment, but because usually the the law well, sides with the lawmakers. Such a high profile cop, very yeah, rare. Yeah. But there have been cases where somebody's, you know, life imprisonment has to involve some death. Yeah. I can't think of any other way you'll mm-hmm. get life, mm-hmm. rape or death. It's mm-hmm. probably there. Mm-hmm. Uh, his case, unfortunately, is like everybody who follows Mumbai police or police in India or whatever, anyone who watches, you know, you read the crime page when you were young, my mm-hmm. age group. Mm-hmm. You read the crime page, page five, and all of the paper. And it was like fascinating. So this name kept coming up. Mm-hmm. So all. These encounter specialists were they really he- at that time we didn't know they're heroes or not right? yeah we presume they're heroes because they're killing the bad guys mm-hmm. all. then that line gets c- completely blurred who's the bad guy yeah who's killing who are you working for the other bad guy to kill this bad guy but that's still good because you're killing a bad guy but what what did the bad guy do uh, back in the day the crime journalists were also like he like stars then, unto themselves right hussein yeah, zaidi yeah but uh, the jigna who got Jay shot Day, yeah, that was a so a again thing. They, they got too close now when yeah. you get too close this crap happens you're, you're aligned to one faction mm. it's the other faction then who goes after you mm. because it's, it's you have to take a side mm. that's why i respect the prime minister that mm. when russia ukraine happened mm. he was able to sort of dance through that and well, according to a new have, ad he stopped the war the modi ji ne jang rok di mummy but which jang <laughs> jang <laughs> that's okay <laughs> so you can use it for multiple Times wow. in history. Wow! So I'm just going to think if there's a small war in Fiji Islands, you know, between <laughs> yeah. two villages. War rock the mummy. Uh, yeah. yeah. And somebody, you know, <laughs> Indian helicopter was seen. So they, oh, oh, ban karo war, ban karo, ban karo, helicopter. Yeah. Mal- Maldives want to go to war with us, sir. By the way, Maldives that'll be fun, no? Like a uh, island. I'm saying you send top security first. You saw me your lowest faction of security. Didn't they recall their ambassador from India? They've done Maldives? everything. They've done yeah. everything. They've done a lot of lo- aggressive uh, chest yeah, pumping yeah, yeah. because China has now know, yeah, put their hand out and said yes. uh, chili chicken will be. Uh, free <laughs> for three days, huh? and to be honest, between chili chicken and dhokla, I mean, you know, <laughs> with due pure, respect, to pure, pure wage fleet. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> I mean that dish is literally red in color. Yeah, the chili wow. chicken. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Depends how much to... oil there is. Yeah. yeah well, La- last one, Pradeep Sharma, going to break. Mm. So I'm just saying, please remember the Supreme Court is still there. I was sitting with my good friend Abad Ponda. He will come on the show, mm. leading lawyer. Mm. And people don't understand the appellate system in India. His Every... surname is Ponda. Ponda, Ponda, okay. Gujarati surname. Okay. Uh, like pond with an E. Ah, got know? it. So in in Punjab they also say it. <laughs> so you see a pond, you're a Ponda. <laughs> Where is Ponda? That's all. That's also what Bengalis call a giant the panda. Pondo. 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 Okay. Huge <laughs> mistake. And generally they point to a relative. Hey, <laughs> right, Pondo. I will take a break. Then we'll come back. Yes. Hope you enjoyed that episode uh, at Hyperdrive in Singapore. I hope you guys have checked that out. It was fantastic. I was a little embarrassed at the end, but I want to just explain to people there was no liquid discharge while driving. I was scared, but this is wrong, and I want to tell the producers who pointed that out this is wrong. I was just a little worried because I'm not used to left going right, right going left. It takes a little while to master Hyper City's driving. Okay, so don't point fingers. When you point one finger, uh, three fingers, uh, and a broken nail point back at you. Hey, it's been another great week on the IVM Podcasts Network. On Cyrus Says, Cyrus is joined by film director Homi Adjania to discuss his latest suspenseful thriller, Murder Mubarak. They talk about the film's creation and his personal journey from filmmaking to managing the family business along with heartfelt memories of actor Irfan Khan. On Paisa Vaisa, Anupam Gupta is joined by author, entrepreneur and financial content creator Ankur Variku. Ankur discusses his latest best-selling book Make Epic Money and unravels some secrets of content creation economics. Folks, if you like our shows, spread the word, tell your friends and don't forget to rate and review them wherever you're listening to them. Follow us on social media. We are IVM Podcasts on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and LinkedIn. You'll also find all our shows on youtube.com slash IVM podcasts. And finally, we would like to thank our sponsors this week. Omidyar Network India, IDFC First Bank and ICICI Prudential Mutual Fund. Thank you for making this possible. Welcome back to Encounter Specialist Abbas, <laughs> who's uh, encountered with the opposite genders. Ab tak chattis. Genders, no, gender. Ab tak chattis because 36, yeah, no? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> everyone, everyone wants you to take off your shirt now. 
No, I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. No. Uh, we'll you. get our sponsor finally. Even if it's a bra and panty, I'll take it. <laughs> yeah. Abhay sir is laughing. What a disgusting... Why do people laugh at disgusting things? This is a disgusting vi- uh, image. Can you take a show? Yeah, you that's, why, that's why it makes you laugh. And that's our sponsor. <laughs> and this is what he finds funny. A sophisticated brain like him. A man of learning. Yeah. On his way here, he translated Macbeth. Really? In, into Urdu. Mm. And then retranslated back into English because he wasn't happy oh. with the translation. Mm. That's the kind of brilliance Abhay sir has. Right. Abhay sir, do you speak any other languages? He <laughs> dropped his glasses English? as you Hindi? speak. <laughs> what do you speak? I don't speak Gujarati. You speak Gujarati? Oh. Not bad. Okay, very good. Gujarat is not very hard. through his ass. <laughs> just look out because they're close, the states are close, the Marathi Gujarat, you just fly. Just let it go. Man. Yeah. That way, I speak Bengali. I spent five days in Calcutta, I picked up the Bengali. Achha. Donobad. Yes, thank you. Oh. How hard is that? Oh. You take Danyabad and just, you owe it. If you owe it, you get your Bengali right, you know, it's not difficult. You know? uh. Like if you, instead of saying well done, you just have to say war dawn. What were you doing in Cal- Calcutta? How dare you? <laughs> <It's very personal. laughs> well, TMC called. <laughs> Uh, uh, Derek O'Brien's to, to, voice was paining uh, To campaign for them yeah. By the way, second highest uh, party uh, Electoral bonds wise yeah. uh, After the BJP And why not? Again you're picking <laughs> up my I'm not picking, I'm just yeah. giving information yeah. Yeah. Why yeah. not? She's done <coughs> She's done a lot of good work also I mean I'm not aware Because mm-hmm. I don't follow politics but <laughs> so Okay, for the next story We go to the land of She milk. got injured by the way while Yeah, we were I saw there. that yeah, yeah. So while we were there uh, I, I was working out at 6 in the morning And the thing was The TV, there was nobody there I, I was not trying to connect You being there and her no, getting Injured, the the surreal nature. So I, the thing is off. The mute mm. is off, and we're watching the thing, and it's a picture of the chief minister of West Bengal, and he's bleeding and, and all. Yeah. No, it was it was like a Sajid yeah. Ray picture. There was uh-huh. a soft focus and into the face and all mm. that, and yeah, it looked terrible. Mm. So I just presume it's file footage. <laughs> I come back to the breakfast area, and they're all talking about this. Uh-huh. And then apparently that for some reason, like mm. a pandemic, mm. every time there's an election, mm. there's an injury. And then they gave some five, six case studies. And I was like, man, what a wonderful... I mean, that's just observation-wise, just great, you know, mm. really. So you've got to be careful if you're in power and there's an election on the corner because yeah. you know, anything can happen. That's true. Yeah. yeah. But from West Bengal, I was going to say next story, we go to the, to the land of miracles. <coughs> Uttar, Uttar Pradesh. Uh, ah. <laughs> okay. A woman... Uh, was caught marrying her brother to get cash and gifts under the Uttar Pradesh government scheme. So I have this new scheme oh, wherein newlywed couples oh. get uh, a certain amount of money yeah, yeah. for organize, for arranging the uh, hmm. marriage and then for a bright So they're future. helping basically sponsor yeah. the marriage yeah. if you're not from a well-to-do <coughs> thing. So they lug out. So this woman was caught uh, like literally marrying her brother. Now brother, I don't know if it's blood relation brother or like a cousin. It just says a brother. Mm, uh, cousin is also so, blood relation. So so I was like, as a Parsi and Muslims talking about this, it's a little <laughs> <laughs> like not judging people, not but just, usually not just Muslims and Parsis. A uh, lot of uh, areas of India, they marry the uncle, they marry the. They, 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 that sh- stuff happens, bro. I mean, traditionally, Abhay of course. Abhay is making faces because you can only speak Gujarati suddenly. <laughs> But trust me, there are other states and there's other things happening. Huh? The uh, the Yojana, that uh, scheme, is called the Mukhya Mantri Samohik Vivaha Yojana. I felt his hand was in it. <laughs> I didn't think it would happen on its own. You know, just one day in UP, organically, a brother and sister get married and money lands from up here. And... Uh, they have uh, like they've they've worded the scheme ka this thing very beautifully. Let me just find that part. So this was part of like a one of those uh, mass mass, mass uh, weddings, weddings yeah. that happened. Oh. So thirty eight couples had I mean, tied the knot. I don't want to be there because you know, uh, especially when I'm with North Indians who don't use bad <coughs> language and UP doesn't use bad language like Punjab does, and mm. we do. So you'll be there and you're normally like you know your Quran's walking back and hey Benjot and then everybody turns. <laughs> You know, because you've got this whole thing going on. <laughs> It'd be like, this is the wrong place to send people. Yeah. So, under the scheme, the Uttar Pradesh government spends 51,000 rupees per couple. Yeah. The bride gets 35,000, uh, and I'm quoting, transferred to her bank account for happiness in her married life. Wow. And the establishment of a household. Okay. So and ar- the 16,000? 16,000 is for the arrangement of, I think, uh, the wedding, the pandit okay, so or whatever. Because it all goes to the female. To the female, Excellent. yeah. Excellent. That's a great, <clears throat> that's fantastic. Because all the beating that will happen after that, it makes sense that something goes away in the beginning, right? <laughs> Shouldn't be uh, laughing at this part. I'm yeah. not laughing. I'm just, I'm just looking at the negative side of marriage. No? Mm. So, a, a lot of people have sort of uh, fraud cases have come ahead mm. because of this. And fraud? This is, you just told me about a brother marrying his sister. Yeah. What and this is fraud? one of them. Yeah. So, uh, so basically, so yeah. they're all marriages of uh, which you make up. 
you don't have to marry not yourself. all of them but, no, but no, I, I, it's okay, easy 50000 let, bucks say, let's say my name is geeta huh. uh, you're a boss huh. and i say okay let's get no married. but the, then you can't okay, get married okay, okay, you're not in you're not in uk okay let's say my name is my name is geeta well well put huh. your name is vijay yes. so vijay and geeta decide to get married we don't even know each other huh. what what is the matter i do the your the your account you know we get married yeah, we get married yeah, we yeah. have a fake ceremony yes. we spend 15 grand on whatever and 35 grand goes to me then i give you 5 grand exactly see you again yeah this is the best marriage ഫു Okay we can even spend the night together depending on my mood mm. and then uh, you never see me again mm. which mail will say no what's wrong with you <laughs> screw the money this okay, is perfect okay you've convinced me geeta yeah. i am totally on board with thank this thank you vijay <laughs> <laughs> so the block development officer i don't know what that is bdo mm. of Laksh- lakshmipur block amit mm. mishra said that the investigation has been ordered into the matter mm. and he has a, a short strict strict action will be taken and he he says the gift items given to the couple have been taken back can i just say one thing yeah. in my experience going back to yes prime minister yes minister yeah, anthony yeah. j huh. and uh, who's the partner jonathan lin mm. who wrote that uh, and before that there's that i all over the world mm. when you hear the word investigation has started mm. you know they're bearing it in conversation right <laughs> yeah. uh, we are we'll be looking into the matter in the fullness of time yeah. uh, already questions are being asked these are all the wrong things to say uh, you know uh. because it's an obvious uh, scam mm. you just immediately uh, attack the people who done the scam change the yojana mm. because it's so, such an easy yojana mm. thingy to scam So they've got to. They, I I don't know how to do this, bro. I'm telling you honestly. If I was UP, I'd change the government for five minutes, and somebody else do this huge nothing. Then go back to the present government mm. because this thing is not working for me. It's just, it's just too easy to scam. But how can you? How can you? How can you prove that? I mean, they found this out, so I'm sure some documentation somewhere gave it away. But how can you prove that I, I don't want to marry you or you don't want to marry me? That you, you can't. can't any the, the norm. Nice. The norm in Aapas India. Aapas mein jo hai, wo hai. India mein the norm is arranged yeah. marriages where the bride no, and groom usually don't see. What they can do see. is that if uh, you cannot divorce for the first five years, and you have to cohabit in the same room. Five. Acha in that yeah. under this scheme. Yeah. That's that a, really that's test the marriage. Pretty cruel. Yeah. 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 The Why? first thing I kept when I got married was big windows, so that you could <laughs> crawl out from the pipe and go down. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Mm. Mm. Nice. I But uh, you're talking about Yes Minister. There was also an Indian remake of that with Farooq Sheikh. It didn't work so well. I don't know why it didn't work in because the the culture is exactly the same. I know. Yeah. And the bureaucracy is exactly the same. Yeah. Only the language changed. But for some reason, it didn't work. I I, I quite liked it. I remember I was very young when it aired. Mm. But Farooq Sheikh was the minister, mm. and the I I S officer was played by this very popular actor. I yeah, can't yeah, yeah, remember his name. We have the time. Jayant Kriplani. Jayant Kriplani. Yeah, yes, he was yes, the yes, he was yes. the. officer okay. there uh okay and they are, they are fantastic actors both yeah. okay and both theater actors and I, i i i saw the episode i can't remember why it didn't work but i think uh the english um just was funnier the, because it buries you in I words i get that yeah but the it's, it's, it's the it's the bureaucratic way of answering what mm. we just said an investigation has started mm. in the fullness of time jaanch chal rahi hai yeah it <laughs> just it just doesn't seem to work maybe it's a language issue maybe we should remove hindi from the Uh, books and don't start say all controversial again. things like this. You shouldn't say that. Yeah, no. I'm just saying. I'm asking you. I'm not suggesting that. Hindi is very controversial in India. You think? Yeah. I'm going to Tamil Nadu right now. I can make jokes on <laughs> Hindi for the next three days. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, so you, I think you shared the post of your uh, being in Chennai, and I remember someone said there, there's an opening act, and they were right. There was there is a introductory yeah, yeah, there is, there uh, is. act for there you. Is. Yeah. It's probably much better. Also, yeah. I should <laughs> find out. Maybe we can switch. I'll go first. <laughs> uh, oh, By the way. Uh, hmm. If it's oh, it's too late because this is Wednesday on twenty seven. The show's yes. over. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What year. a show! What I a hope show. you had a great time oh, in Chennai. Oh, I can't ah. tell you the love I yeah. got in Chennai. Really, I mean, really, the amount of Gujaratis and Sindhis <laughs> that live in Chennai. <laughs> Uh, I think Jaspal Bhatti did satire the best when oh, it comes best. to yeah, writing the, the best. I like yeah. his poker face also, but writing mm. is another level. Mm. Fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Okay, the last topic we have to discuss is I don't know if you got this, but a lot of people got this Vixit Bharat Sampark message. Uh, so randomly, a message showed up saying this is a message from the government of India under the tutelage of the Honorable Prime Minister, and. Uh, 
uh, they were essentially asking in English for, in English and Hindi. So it it was Hindi first and then English. I got it, hmm. and it was essentially a document which which was asking for feedback of how the government has done. Huh. But the like, actually I should read out the message. I, I sat outside. <laughs> I've gone outside the Raj Bhavan and voiced my opinion. Then I've gone to Vidhan Sabha. They've not let me in. Uh, when I go to Delhi, I from India Gate downwards, I go straight to Parliamentary Building and everything. <laughs> but here's how the message starts: uh-huh. like they're asking for feedback, but they're also like, uh, this letter has been sent by the government of India under the leadership of Honorable Prime Minister Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji. In the last ten years, more than one forty crore citizens of India have directly benefited. That's one forty. It was one thirty. One forty crores. <laughs> well, ten crores in a weekend. One, one day is a is well, a lot. The holy weekend was big, huh? Uh, so benefited we'll from the various schemes of the government of India and will continue to benefit in the future. Your feedback and suggestions are important. Blah blah blah. And then there's a PDF uh, uh, document if you when you click it. I'm feeling, so I'm the, feeling very very uh, marginalized. I didn't get this message. The a lot of people come. So I got this at two a.m. in the night on a on a Sunday Sunday night. It depends on your uh, your where you're from exactly, right? No, but a lot of people have. But all uh, the Hindus were till six p.m. <laughs> This is what I heard. You were at six p.m. Abey, your name is Abey. A lot of people got six twenty, like late at night. Oh. Then, then, then the minorities also getting late night. <laughs> That's well, all. One Parsi is going to five a.m. <laughs> <laughs> I saw it. What is this? Who? Um, so a lot of people are like, Sorry. this is a breach of um, privacy because. How do, how is the government en masse just sending uh, WhatsApp messages to? But, but random in a, as a democratic forum uh, idea, it's not the worst, right? It, it's not the worst. I, I like in college once we had this idea where you mark the teachers. I've been fighting. Why can't we have that? You know, you have report cards for kids. You yeah. never have report card for the staff for the faculty. Here also, you get a feedback form for your manager. Yeah. Yeah. I I think you should. <laughs> you should have a feedback form for your manager. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's only working one way. But how did that work out? It was it in college? The teacher thing. No, so they had it like a trial thing once for uh, one term. Uh, the people were vicious. But that's you, 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 anonymous. No, no you're not oh, anonymous. Oh, but you're, okay. you're, you're now voicing your opinion. <laughs> oh, a lot of kundas, na. So, but college, then, but then, another teacher knows this. Doesn't matter. Really hates the, me. the thing is that finally you're allowed to speak. Okay. So, so people, everyone doesn't have to. There are a lot of mm, diplomatic mm, people mm, and scared mm, people. Yeah, of takes course. five people to write. A ah, lot of people wrote ah. and said they didn't write in like an aggressive way where it's like you know profanity, yeah, but yeah. they wrote. That uh, Mr. Korea Coast comes late to class mm. and he's always uh, pointing out uh, mistakes instead mm. of encouraging us. And not completely wrong, you know, mm. what they're saying and all that. So you, it's good to get the feedback from our side also. Mm. Mm. Let the rank also be known, not just the Raj, mm. Raja. Mm. Both should be uh, <laughs> should be given a. See, but that's voluntary. Like uh, uh, something is announced and then you can but voice. This is voluntary. This is sliding into your DMs but and that's be like, the, way, hey, the give medium feedback. of communication. That's not their fault. Abhishek has already answered happily. He's told them what is wrong with the government, what he wants. You, you explain, no? But n- now that they have this, if they have everybody's they contact have everything details, about you. Uh, I mean, they, they can, it can be misused also, of right? Of course, they'll be using your GPA. Yeah, it's called G government. <laughs> that's you why your name, our name, oh. showed up on the electoral that, bond list. Exactly, and that's why I say only pay in kind. Even mm-hmm. if I go to a, like the dukan and I want to pick up like just pens or something, mm-hmm. I always flash mm. a smile. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a very touchy topic because even this uh, thing. What is the thing that uh, they've given us at the airport to What's enter? It? What is it? What's it called? That the the app. Yeah, that app. Um, ha, I can't remember Yatri it now, but I know what you're talking. Called. Digi Yatra. Digi Yatra. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it sounds great. No, people uh-huh. are going in very fast, but I'm still scared. What does it do exactly? So you use that uh, gate, right? Where there's okay. a facial recognition or uh-huh. something. You go really fast. Uh-huh. Otherwise, you know what happens. But then if everybody uses it, then how are you more? But it still be faster because we are, don't have that human fallibility that we have with these people they hire mm. in uniform who stand there and mm. take 16 minutes mm. to go through Cyrus brocha, mm. which I'm holding mm. and I've uh, enlarged it on the phone and a uh, ID. Where I've put my finger right where it's written. Both the names to are here. To be honest with him, Cyrus Brocha isn't the most common name. No, but they're just so slow. Mm. I, I was telling people in the line, let's let's. let's I want to shoot it as a video. Mm. They average about like two and a half minutes for what is two words. Mm. For God's sake, how can it take so long? So I that's saw a Digi Yatra face in out. It's much well, better. That's good, no. I, the way I see it, if you're going to be hijacked, you're going to be hijacked. Okay, that's let's true. not waste time. Yeah. Because that's the worst thing you could do. Yeah, yeah, I also have been very pro Aadhaar card because all my, like for many documents which I didn't have, you only need to produce an Aadhaar and it would get done. Mm. So a lot of those things, well, sure it falls under the purview of... My problem of, is when you want it, you never find it. Uh, they ask for the Aadhaar card, and you're looking for it and all you find is the other card. <laughs> you know, and it's, you just can't find the Aadhaar card. So now, I, do you shoot everything on your phone and keep it? 
But half the time you, they what say, you, okay, what, are, what are you talking about? You know, your <laughs> your Aadhaar card, you shoot it and show. I do, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like in Chennai, you can show everything on the phone. Yeah. Advanced state. Yeah. Uh, I was in. What other state you have to produce it? Physically. Some of them don't. Uh, yeah. You know, in Kolkata, the lady was very nice, but mm. she was not impressed with pictures. Mm. She was like, nah. that's because you started showing her other pictures on your phone. And I she was like, no, I started with my V shape and all that, <laughs> and she was, I like girls. <laughs> v shape is what? <laughs> <laughs> is that what V shape is? No, that's what no V. Nothing to do with the vagina. I know what you do. No, like uh, like yeah, body V shape. Yeah, yeah. Uh. V shape is uh, no, because the, I saw John. Ideal male. Did you see John Cena walk naked at the Oscars? I did, I did. Uh, I did. But I, not like you. I didn't celebrate. But I, his body was also very V shape. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Aesthetically, if he doesn't have. A and they accuse that they he's actually they have actually drawn like uh, like no body can be that perfect. So it's actually he's aesthetically perfect. he's not that drawn. perfect at all. Is is uh, in terms of bodybuilding, he's not not that perfect. Okay. Hmm. Uh, if you want to talk aesthetics or bodybuilding, <laughs> I'm just Abbas, take off your clothes. <laughs> Again, let's second have, time you're asking me. <laughs> not how I thought I'll spend my birthday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But yeah. Oh, we've reached the end of the show almost. Yeah, yeah. almost. Yeah. yeah. We have a guest coming up. So, so quickly, as we as we uh, finish the show here, yeah. your birthday today. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> tell us exactly what's going to happen. Because we're doing this in the morning. Yeah, it's uh, eleven. Okay, it's so eleven a.m. right now. Yeah, I, but you're like, not. F- oh, you are fast. I am fasting, of course. Yeah, why? Why won't I fast? <laughs> Poor guy. First, the Hindus are after him. Now, the Muslims are after him. Now, he's going to live in a Parsi colony. <laughs> yeah, boss, <laughs> yeah, chair. There's this very funny joke from Azim Baratwala, yeah. who's who's not very religious. So he yeah. says he wants took a cab, uh-huh. and the driver was like a skull cab beard yeah. wearing, uh, uh-huh. not wearing uh, the, the driver. Yeah. It was Ramzan. Yeah. It was iftari time, and then the driver asked him, "Ke sir, aap ne roza rakha hai kya?" Hmm. Now to not get into the whole conversation. How did he know Azim was a? Because in, in the cab you get the name. No. Oh, he's a fancy uh-huh. guy who uh-huh. uses the phone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Just say Raju. <laughs> So no, anyway, I mean, so don't know who I am. looking at his attire and everything, Azim wasn't fasting, but to avoid the whole uh, debate, he said, "Kya uh, roza rakha hai?" And then the the driver was like, "Acha, maine nahi rakha hai." <laughs> so now he was in this way, <laughs> where now this person is going out of his way to get iftari for this guy who is not fasting. So yeah, it was a funny bit. That I know lots had. of. I have two Parsi friends who fast. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. during Ramzan, uh-huh. they just follow it right. for whatever right. reason. Um, and i'm just thinking that's amazing <laughs> because i understand if you have to cuz you're in the religion and they tell you but now you show empathy for somebody else who believes in the fast yeah what a weird concept I mean, right i, I didn't become a woman because of karwa chauth i mean I, there's no way i'm doing it <laughs> bro no way uh, yeah I, i for me this fasting thing is not easy it's, it's it is it's very painful the only thing that keeps me happy is food now <laughs> and now with tomato separating veg and non veg yeah. it's so beautiful you know that we our people can some say tomato some say yeah. tomato some say potato some say potato ebony and ivory i mean all beautiful <laughs> lovely keep us separate yeah abhishek I mean, bachan if you're watching you didn't wish a boss yeah, very a fellow actor yes. a colleague a co-star a co-star yes. and uh, he would appreciate it I would. you think he would if no. somebody told him no You didn't make any impact. I don't. I don't even think he'll recognize me if I see him again. Um, I maybe mean, if, if I remind him. If, if you send him the video, uh, like, <laughs> and then I mean you've got to do that. Yeah, you don't run twenty-seven films. It's fair. of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Fair, totally fair. And he's working with people all the time. Exactly. So it's difficult. Yeah. I understand. Yeah. But but if he does see that, then you think he'll go out of his way to wish you happy birthday? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Because okay. they have to maintain that image, no. <laughs> <laughs> unnecessary. I mean, Abhishek is probably a nice guy. Yeah, also. that's what I mean. I don't. I don't think if anybody comes up to him and he's like, "Hey, Abhishek, it's my birthday." Of course, he'll wish them. I don't. I wouldn't do it. He, a, by the way, he was very nice on set. He clicked a selfie with everybody who wanted to come up to. Yeah. Uh, In fact, one or two didn't want also. Didn't want also. He was like, "No." Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But I'll be honest, when so, people yeah. uh, say it's my birthday, no, I never say happy birthday. Why? But I think, why are you telling me this? There's more <laughs> thing in my head now to keep. I don't want. It. I, I, and the other thing is the WhatsApps, so that you have to be in the group WhatsApp. Kailash's birthday, happy birthday, ah, Kailash. Yeah, no, I, I don't. <laughs> I've just stopped. I mean, go fuck yourself. Why should I wish you? What's the? We have no relationship. <laughs> Who's? Who, who, Uh, that's this Navroz Mubarak also all day Navroz Mubarak Navroz Mubarak, <laughs> Navroz Mubarak. Just, why do they have to say this I was also one of the people who uh, yeah, okay but we know each other no but there's yeah. so many strangers just say Navroz Mubarak and all, you know, yeah, there's yeah. nothing between us yeah. uh, what do you care about Parsis here there or anywhere Oh, no, no, I care. Not you. I'm. Why is it like that? Because I'm the only one bastard. here. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. In the month of Holy Month of Ramzan, you use so much bad language, but you bring it out on me. It's just ridiculous. 
All right. We'll uh, end with this. This happy was picture. this was fun and awkward. By the way, uh, Abbas came here ten minutes late, saying his back is very bad and this and the other. I've noticed no pain because I have been still and been sitting still. Abbas, you're not known to and be. And I've a, been. Uh, I've been whatever. You're not known to be a sprinter. Controlling my pain. But you're known. You're not known to be a guy who does anything fast. Do huh? parents know about her? No. <laughs> Your parents don't know about her. No. Why don't they know about her? You're thirty six. Why are, are you interrogating me like this? Are you a freaking teenager? They do. They do. They do. Yeah. Uh, is she Muslim? <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for joining us. What? Answer the question. <laughs> is she Muslim? Did she end the episode here? <laughs> And just in <laughs> case, hanger. in case it could go further. How does it matter if she is? I just want to know what's going to happen. I don't. Uh, India is a democratic, secular country. No, as we speak. No, vegetarian, non-vegetarian. <laughs> so, Ramesh, she is both. All right. In the words of the guys in UP who are getting married, banjo, soon. Brother, marry sister. Yeah. Society is going the right direction. Game of Thrones. Yeah. yeah. I haven't seen it. <laughs> don't. No idea. But thank you for joining us. And happy birthday, Abbas. Thank you. And may it be a good one and a good year. Thank you. Bye bye. <laughs>